Okay, so we have an external magnetic field, B, right? This is the external magnetic field. What is captured by a coil is called the magnetic flux. So in the first case here, the area of the coil is perpendicular to the magnetic field. So the amount of flux that's captured is simply the magnetic flux density times the area because the entire area of the coil is facing the uh, magnetic uh, field. When this thing is rotated, then um, it's no longer facing the magnetic field. Uh, one way of understanding this is to realize that effectively we have only um, this area that's capturing the flux. All right, so it's having a such a big area coil uh, is going to allow you to capture just as much flux as if you have a smaller coil, but uh, you have this coil facing the magnetic field directly, perpendicularly. So, in fact, uh, if this if this is uh, this angle is theta, then the new flux that's captured by this coil will be B A cosine theta, because the effective area will not be A anymore. It will be A cosine theta. So, the external magnetic field, as stated in the question, is constant. It's not going to change, but the amount of flux captured by the coil uh, has decreased simply because. Um, the effective area is much smaller actually.